guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna call my husband and show him my hair. I'm gonna prank his ass. I'm gonna prank his ass. All right, let me call him. Oh shit! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. No, I didn't mean to do that. Look. What? You don't see my. Yeah, I dyed my you hair. Dyed. No, is that a wig? No, I, a wig, right? no, I dyed it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You're lying, right? No. What? No, it's a wig, right? <laughs> it's a wig. Hey guys, what's up? It's Halsey. Welcome to the video. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I'm going to be installing this wig I have on my head right here. It did take me a while. Um, now, let me just say I'm by no means like claiming to be a professional wig person like at all. In fact, like I learned everything that I know in my videos from other people on YouTube. But um, I'm going to show you guys how I installed this wig. Um, yeah, I'm not claiming to be like a professional or anything like that. This is just how I did mine today. Um, definitely some trial and error, okay? <laughs> but it eventually worked. So I love this wig. This wig is super cute. Like I live, honey. This is, um, this wig is from, I feel like it would look even better if like a real pro installed it. This is, this wig is from a company called Yolova. My daughter drew on the front. I will link which wig it is down below in the description box. It was kind of yellow. So what I ended up doing was putting it in purple shampoo. I put it in the purple shampoo, I blow dried it out, and then I kind of just like got to styling. So, I mean, it was a lot of fun to do. I really do love wigs. I wish I was like more advanced in kind of just like my wig journey. I used to be blonde and then I dyed my hair brown because I wanted it to be healthier and I just was like, okay, well, if I ever want to be blonde, I'll just wear a wig, but I haven't really gotten around to it. Okay, this wig is human hair. It is 22 inches. It's either 22 inches or 24 inches. So I will put all of that in the description. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I style the wig, how I blow dry the wig, straighten the wig, flat hot comb the wig. Um, but with that being said, um, let's get into this wig journey. All right, you guys, so the first thing you're going to see me doing right here is blow drying my wig. I already toned it with a bucket of warm water and purple toning shampoo, and I'm just taking my Bellamy hair dryer and my round brush from Sally's and blowing it out. I do have a code for Bellamy. It is Chase 10 if anybody is interested in getting anything from Bellamy. So I'm just drying out the wig. This is something that I really like to use when straightening hair. It just grabs the hair. And all I'm gonna do here is just straighten the wig. I grab it with my tool and I just, I'm straightening the entire wig. If later I wanna put curls in it, I'll do that. But the first thing I like to do is just straighten it, make sure everything is flat. I'm gonna spray some of this sparkling soda shine mist. It's from Dry Bar. And then I'm gonna put in the Living Proof Vanishing Oil in there. You definitely don't want your wig to be like too shiny because then it can tend to look like um fake so if it's if it's you can put this in there i like it because it kind of like makes it a little more sleek so the final thing i'm going to do this is a hot comb and i highly re recommend getting one of these too they just make your life a whole lot easier <laughs> but it makes the top like so much flatter and like if you think about how your normal hair looks, you don't have like a ton of volume and like knots in the top of your head. So you you're, you basically want to create the illusion that the hair is coming out of your head. So the flatter you can get like the top, the better. Here you're just going to see me plucking out some of the front. Our natural hairlines are not super thick. so. If you can pluck some hair out, it does make it look more natural. I probably am gonna go back in and pluck more after the video, but I 
definitely needed to pluck it a little bit. And here I'm just gonna cut some baby hairs. I'm using my little toothbrush comb thing and I'm just scissoring some baby hairs. I recommend using a razor if you're not comfortable cutting baby hairs, but I use scissors because I couldn't find my razor. And I'm just gonna kind of like spray them down a little bit just so it's ready to put on when I'm ready to put it on. Here's the wig right here. She is from Yolova and let's get started i have my hair french braided it looks a little crazy because i just picked the kids up from school and so i'm just gonna start putting it in i may alter back and forth between doing a voiceover and putting installing the wig just because it does require a lot of like concentration on my part so i just don't want to make the video unnecessarily long but uh here is the finished product so much of more of an icy blonde than it originally was so i'm just gonna lay her here <laughs> um and then the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be using these two products right here to install the wig i have my rat tail comb here and i'm just gonna take a little bit of the gel and i'm just gonna push back like all of the baby hairs that I have because the last thing you want is for like a loose hair and yes I'm gonna look really crazy when I'm doing this video this is a process you can't really rush and a lot of it is just patience and waiting for the glue to dry at the appropriate time my wig cap oh let the wig gods bless me today, honey. I'm just gonna take my wig cap and I'm going to put it on my head and I'm gonna tuck all of the hair underneath. First take this and because my hairline comes down pretty low, I'm gonna keep it pretty close to the hairline. For me, one of the hardest places to do is my ears. I'm just going to dry it on a cool setting until it's completely dry. All right, I'm just gonna cut some ear tabs. You just wanna do like a tiny snip. Like you don't wanna go crazy with this part and then you want to bring it like over your ear. Okay, so when you know that your wig cap is secure, there should be, uh, you should be able to touch it and there should be absolutely nothing wet, damp, anything on the wig cap. It's almost like just when you think you've dried enough, dry, dry it like 10 minutes more. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut in the middle here. And then I'm just gonna go along the side. And I'm just gonna cut and like, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna take the wig and start from the back of my head and just place it on. And then after I will do like my adjusting. Start from the back. I'm just gonna kind of like measure it and see like okay is it is it working do I need to move it up down like is it gonna fit yeah so I mean yeah it seems to fit pretty pretty nice and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it in a cut right here in the front And this is just so when I'm sectioning the wig, just so when I'm gluing it down, I can glue it down like in sections. And I'm just gonna cut here. And then I'm gonna make one more incision right here like across the eyebrow. I am going to be gluing my wig down in sections. So I'm gonna start on this side. I try to pin it back so that way I don't get any of the wig hair in the glue. So I'm gonna pin it back, but I'm gonna be putting mine almost like right on the wig cap and slightly in front of the wig cap onto my skin. So I'm gonna be taking the gel. For me, it's much easier to control. I 
right, so I've dried it and it's, the wig glue is really, really tacky. So I'm going to pull it. So I'm gonna pull it down and stick it on and I'm using my comb to press it down. I kind of press it down with the comb and pull the, comb the hair back. And then I'm gonna go back in with the dryer and make sure it's all melted together nicely. So see how here I didn't wait for the glue to dry down long enough and now it's kind of like crusty here. Don't do what I did and make sure you wait until the glue is like tacky enough because like you definitely don't want all this crust in your wig. But like see how the front turned out like, I don't know if you guys can see it this flat, but like the front looks like it's melting in whereas the side just looks a little a little crusty but that's okay that's okay we're gonna fix it i'm gonna try to fix it but i am happy with like how the front of this side came out can you guys see that you guys my husband is gonna be like what all right guys so same thing on this side and i'm actually gonna wait a lot longer for this side to dry and i'm not gonna put like too too much crazy gel because the more you put the longer it takes for it to dry so i'm just gonna this hey guys so this side I let dry much longer so I'm gonna just pull it and stick it you guys so all right guys so now I'm just gonna take start cutting in sections I'm gonna cut this part here first yeah and in this part I kept going in and out of focus but basically I'm just cutting the lace off as close as I can to the scalp around the perimeter of my face So I'm just going back in with the blow dryer, making sure everything is really melted together and it looks like the hair is coming out of my scalp. I'm kind of pressing it in with the comb. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I'm doing that just to make it look like it's part of my head. I'm gonna kind of go back in with my hot comb and just make sure everything is laying really flat. And the reason why I'm wearing this bandana is just to secure the wig down and make the lace lay really flat. so here is the wig right now um I'm just gonna try to do a few baby hairs I am definitely like do not consider myself like by all means like a master wig installer at all um there are people that can do it far far better than me I just thought it was fun to kind of like do it because I've never done a wig video on my channel but I think it would be fun to like get someone who per can professionally do a wig and have them come on my channel. I'm just gonna do some baby hairs here in the front. I'm just gonna kinda like, you know what? I'm like, should I even? I kinda just like the way it looks as is. I'm just gonna kinda like, not do like the full baby hair moment, but maybe just like a little baby hair moment. Let me see. Let me just do a little bit. We'll just do like a tiny bit. A little bit of baby hair. We don't need a lot of baby hair. Yeah. I'm just gonna do like that. And like as you can see over here, the way the glue looks kind of like crusty on this side. So I'm just gonna like do that. I'm just gonna do like one of these. 
cut that just maybe like have some like that let's see what's going on over here just so like maybe it'll frame the face just a, just a hair no pun intended all right guys so let me show you guys the final product let me back up this is like the finished product of the wig and it took me a long time to put in I do really like the color it's making me wish I was blonde again guys thank you so much for watching make sure to comment rate subscribe and if you want this wig maybe you're better at installing it than I am head over to Yolovo and get a wig I will link my coupon code down in the description bye guys